and Jenny B. And today we are gonna try to show you how we plan a trip. <gasps> I broke it. week it's gonna be nine states five B&Bs so we're gonna be starting our day off on Monday we leave at 5 a.m. oh yeah 5 a.m. but Duncan is open at 5 a.m. for those of you who might need a little caffeine refreshment so when we started to plan the trip our goal place that we needed to be for an activity was in Minnesota so because of what we do we travel and this year we're focusing on the united states and the places and the bnbs and the amazing innkeepers that have the bnbs we that's how we started our plan so from here to our focus destination in minnesota from here is 19 hours and 44 minutes Ooh. that's a long drive right now some of you guys can make it out there, but not this lady. I can't do that. And she does all the driving, so. So, we had to break it up. Again, remember our goal this year is to see the United States, B&Bs, so this is a great way to take advantage of that for us. So I kind of broke it up most days, eight hours, some days maybe longer. So for our first stop, we're gonna actually be heading to Paducah. I've always wanted to see Paducah, Kentucky. Paducah, Paducah. We love the saying Paducah. So, but we want to see that, right? So that's eight hours, 45 minutes. So we are going to be staying at a lovely B&B there. It's the Riverview Mansion. So, okay, so that's the first part of our trip. Then our second, we've never been to the state of Wisconsin. So we are going to be going the second day, which is a seven hour day. So see, kind of balance it out where they're not so the next day will be to Madison, Wisconsin. And that's gonna be at the Fargo Mansion. It's very exciting. So we're getting to see the US, right? Mm -hmm. Especially a new state. And we're getting to visit B&Bs with amazing B&B owners. So that's very exciting for us. And then the third day, we are gonna be going to Minnesota. And the place that we're gonna be staying in Minnesota is actually on a boat. <laughs> the Covington. The Covington Inn is actually a boat with a lot of history on it. It was actually down in the south, went all the way up to Mississippi, and it's actually still on the Mississippi River. It's not a working ship anymore, or is that a towboat? Is that what they call it? Tow a towboat. But we're going to be staying there with their fabulous owner, Miss Liz. So we cannot wait to see her and stay at the Covington Inn. It looks so cool. It is going to be so much fun. And that's kind of now we're that is where our main place is going to be that's where the event that we're going to attend is at so we're going to stay at the Covington Inn and we're going to be eating at some amazing oh restaurants what is the coffee house the Clotta the Clotta coffee house so we're going to get to visit that and how I just picked that I like to look through I like to, we like to stay at little locally owned restaurants we're also going to be eating dinner I know at the Red, Red Cow, Cow. Ooh. So exciting, again, we will stay at locally owned places and they are known for their burgers. And you guys know if you've watched any of our videos, Miss Jenny over here, she loves some burger. So we're going to try that. And then on the website for Covington Inn, the um, innkeeper had recommended an Italian restaurant. Put it on the screen because it's very Italian. De Gidios. Okay, so but that's where we're going to be eating um, there also. Again, it's a locally owned restaurant, so you'll be seeing, um, be able to see that. And it's in St. Paul, Minnesota. So then we'll be there for a couple days because, again, one of the events that we're going to be going to is in that area. Then we're going to have to come home. We're going to have to say goodbye. Darn. So but we used to live in Sioux City, Iowa, so we're going to come down from Minnesota and go to Iowa and we're gonna be staying there at the Linda Sue Manor which is so pretty yes it's on Jackson which has beautiful historical homes and so we're really excited about that come on guys stop fighting Dogs are fun. and then so we'll be there just one day because again we, we gotta must come, come home. home so after we leave Sioux City and the Linda Sue Manor we're gonna be stopping in Mount Vernon and that is in Illinois 
And when we used to travel back and forth when we lived in Iowa, Mount Vernon was always our stop. But this time, we're getting to stop at the Victorian on Main. We're really excited to visit with them and stay there. So after Mount Vernon, you know, I always like to make the trip as long as possible because I have to come home and, you know, deal with the dogs and laundry and all that. So I get to extend it because we're going to go back to Paducah to the amazing people again at the Riverview Mansion. So we're going to stay with them again and we're going to enjoy some food there. Mm -hmm. So right now we have two amazing places that we're going to eat at. One is just hamburgers. Yes. Does that not sound delicious? So again, burgers. And then the next place we actually just talked to Jacob, Jacob. Um, this afternoon to talk about coming and visiting and his, his restaurant. Max's Brick Oven Cafe. So we're gonna have dinner there and everything looks good on the so menu. We're really excited. And there might be a few extra restaurants along the way. So when you see the finished product, but we kind of wanted you to see how we broke it down. So we started here, we went about eight hours, then we went another seven hours then to our main place, which wasn't very far, but who wants to be fresh when you get there? Right. And so then once we leave Paducah, we come back home. Oh. But that's kind of how we plan our trip. We kind of break it down in the drive segments to where we are gonna go. Um, Wisconsin was out of the way. If so, if you're Googling, it was out of the way, but remember we hadn't visited Wisconsin yet. And we've been to everywhere in the Midwest, except Wisconsin. So we had to go there, right? Yes. Um, so that's kind of how we do it. And then once we reach out, I like to look at all the B&Bs. I like to read about them, read about the history of them, look at the innkeepers. And then when we look at them and kind of decide which ones, oh, hey, this is, looks really cool, really unique. Oh, hey, look at the story about the people who own it, how that, you know, all the stories there. Then we give it to Samantha. Say, here you go. Yep, exactly. Because I'm the writer, Jennifer's the computer person. So I usually write it out and then I give it to Samantha and then Samantha reaches out to the people at the different locations that we're going to visit. And make sure that they know that they are handpicked by us. We have looked at their B&B, loved their B&B, and we want to feature their B&B. So Samantha, she's great at that. Yes. And for us, we like to look at them first because we're going to be sharing it with you. And of course, we want you to see, we want you to visit the best places, right? Absolutely. So that's kind of how we do the trip. So we, I track the drive. Then once we've located the eight, you know, divided the drive out, then we look at the B&Bs since that's our focus this year. And then once the B&Bs are confirmed, then we start looking at restaurants in the area. And again, that's again on our preference. We look at the places that we want to eat. We don't just send a ask out to everyone. We handpick them because of either the atmosphere, especially the food, because there's some things that you might not want to eat, right? So that's how we pick those. And then again, we I hand write it out. Um, and give it to Samantha, and then Samantha does all of the contacting. And so we're very excited about the amazing people that we're gonna get to meet next week. It's all fun in the end, it's all exciting, but there is a work to get to the adventure. Yes. So um, last month, January, was Key West. Yep. So I had never been to Key West. You had never been to Key West? No, but I'm ready to go back. Yeah, it was great. So that was that. That's exactly how we planned that trip, you know. Um, then this month, the next month, we're going on a family trip, but you'll still get to see that because it is not a sponsored trip. It no. is. We have not collaborated with anybody, but the Daddy Bee, because the Daddy Bee is the one sponsoring this trip <laughs> to Disney World. Yep, so we're going to Disney World for his big 5-0 birthday, but we will share with you. Oh yeah. I mean, how can you go to Disney World and not? So, and we have been there many times, so we have specific food places that we like to go. So we will share them with you and we'll tell you why they're our favorite. And if they're still good because it's been 10,000 years, yeah. so. so. But we're gonna give you that insight. Then um, the next big trip after this one we're planning is in June. And that was so exciting. So our, like there usually is always a why we're going on this trip, right? Yes. 
So this one is we're gonna be going to a family reunion. In June, yes. <laughs> we're really excited. Um, kind of sad, but excited because this was the trip that we took with my dad and her granddad, but now it's gonna be just us. Yep. But again, we're seeing the country, we're seeing B&Bs, so we are now, has started that process. So hopefully in the next few weeks, you'll start seeing confirmations of where we will be staying on that trip because we'll be going to um, Philadelphia. Never been there. We'll be going to DC. Never been there. We will be going back to where the Shemokin area in Pennsylvania. Been there. And then visiting some amazing friends that we met on the Viking cruise. Hey Liz and Bob. So um, it's gonna be really exciting. So that's the next trip. That's in June. And I mean, and then the next big trip. Speaking of September. Speaking of Viking. We're going. We're going Paris the Swiss Alps. But you guys kind of already knew that. We already told you because if you voted. So yes, so we will be going in September. And I can't wait. September needs to be here like now. Yes. Because it's gonna be exciting. We yes. start we start in Switzerland. And we get on a train and there's the Alps and the Matterhorn and all the Swiss things. So and then we end in Paris. Never been there. We've been to the airport and had nothing but a series of unfortunate events. You see this? There's one of these in Paris somewhere. So we're gonna hope that we come back home with this. Or it just doesn't come with me at all. So those are the next couple trips. Then there's some more trips planned. Yeah. Really? In the notebook for fall, but we haven't started working on those. Samantha says, you guys don't calm down. Huh? But there is something that we're bringing with us on these trips. Oh, yes, we have to share that with you. So pause for a moment. We have partnered up with the amazing people over at Travel Wi-Fi. I'm gonna let you open that. Travel Wi-Fi, are you kidding me? We literally have a Wi-Fi hotspot in a box right here, people. Look at there. The passage to the world is in our hands. So everywhere we go, we got Wi-Fi. And I will have it scroll on the screen all the countries you can use this thing in because it's basically everywhere. So on this road trip, we got Wi-Fi. On our reunion trip, we got Wi-Fi. Paris, the Swiss Alps, oh, we got Wi-Fi. So this is kind of for, if you travel a lot, maybe you're a business person and you travel a lot, or maybe you're just a family that homeschools and you like to take little trips. Exactly. There you go. This, I will put a link in the description where you can get 10% off of this little buddy and it's an unlimited Wi-Fi device. That's great. So we cannot wait to take that with us because we're always, well, we can't do this because we don't have Wi-Fi. Oh, we need to do a shout out to our friend in Australia. Richard. Hey, Richard. He is the most loyal subscriber we have. Watches all of our videos, comments on all of our videos. That's on YouTube. Yes. So. Thank you, Richard. Richard, we really appreciate that. It always makes us smile to see your comments and you are right. Disney does not know what they're not ready. They're not ready for us. But, but are, are the next nine states that we're going to next week ready for us too? No. Is anybody ready for us? So, mm -hmm. no. So, Richard, thank you so much for being a great supporter on YouTube. Liz and Bob, thank you. We love you. Yeah. Another great people that are Viking family that we we made. And so, and again, thank you to all the other people who like and please comment because it makes us connect with you more. If there's things that you want to see, maybe you're from Paducah yeah, and you have a great place you want us to eat or you're in St. Paul, Minnesota and you want to do lunch. Just call us. Let us know. Comment. Say Don't, hey. You might not be able to call us, but you can comment. Somebody's calling us. Somebody's calling us. Uh-oh. They hung up. All right. So now you know how we plan our trips. Yeah. And hopefully that helps you when planning your trips especially if you're a new blogger. So, alrighty. So we'll say bye. bye. Until next time.